Hello everyone, this is Omega and I'm back yet for another unboxing. This time it is Midnight Muses, which is the smaller box from Sugar Muses. I did already the unboxing for the deluxe box for Sugar Muses, The Witch's Moon, The Witch's Roots, uh, Goddess Provisions, and one other box. But you can check those out on my channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment below. Always appreciate your comments. And I will go ahead with this unboxing. So oh, I pre-cut these because it's really hard to undo them and I know it's probably boring to watch me do it, struggle. And this time I brought my glasses. So this is the Midnight Muses box. It goes for, and I'm reading off the web website right now, for $29 plus shipping. Now, shipping depends on where you live. In the continental U.S., it is $7. Uh, California, it's $15, unfortunately. Um, international regions, $20. And I believe that's it. Now, one thing um, I wanted to pass on to you guys that the Midnight Muses is not the Midnight Muses Deluxe Box light. It's actually more shadow work and you don't get the duplicate items that you would get normally from the deluxe version. So this is a little bit more darker gothic in nature than the Sugar Muses. Uh, one is not necessarily better than the other. It just depends on what your tastes lie at. I, I tend, I like both, so I do both unboxings. Uh, same with the Witch's Moon. So let's get started. Sorry about my speech again. Midnight Muses Twilight Shade. So this is August 2020. I'm going to go ahead and go through the contents. I think that is working well so far. Uh, I've been I've been doing this lately instead of explaining everything as I go. Just getting to what's inside the box and then later going through it. So at the top here, NYX, Midnight Muses, digital artwork by Chris, Christy. And this is it right here. And I can smell the incense in here. It smells really good. So there is a makeup brand called NYX. So you would be very surprised that a lot of brands, things that we know have some roots in the occult. And this is an, an example. On the top here, it says Midnight Muses and it has a crescent moon. This is what I believe is my Oracle card that's intuitively drawn. Everyone gets their own. And this is the illustration here. And it says nature, and it looks like Matahari, <laughs> kind of like belly dancer, mystical. And there's probably a website to go to where it would interpret this further. So the wrapping is black with, looks like polka dots on it. And this is, oh gosh, it smells so good. This is the inside here. So I'll just grab it, whatever. Um, this is the Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses card. There. And first thing I pulled up is NYX. And this is a, la looks like a lavender colored candle, tapered candle, beeswax, which I appreciate. This right here is, looks like the tea bag. So I would anticipate we're getting tea here. No, I didn't get to it yet. Okay. So things are wrapped up very nicely. So whatever your happens during the mail uh, delivery, it's, it's pretty well insulated. This, I believe, there's a trio that it's frequently included, which are casting salts, an offering or incense blend. Oh, it just smells amazing. Need these 
use right now. And in this you have, now I need them. Hydrangea root. And this is, is it say sage? Or gauge, I don't know, we'll find out soon enough. And then I believe these are the casting salts. Right here. This looks like an oil. with the same logo on it. It says NYX. Let's see what this smells like. It smells fruity. And here looks like some kind of offering. What looks like, I don't know if it's lavender, and it looks like there are Petals of some kind, very attractive packaging. And I'm just gonna get some of this stuff out so I can see this easier. And is this, ooh, tumbled stone. This is hematite. It's got the sheen to it. That's a pretty good size. Incense, which smells like jasmine. I really hope it's jasmine because I love the smell of jasmine. And you get, I believe it's eight sticks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is very generous. And here, which I think is great to have is a candle snuffer. I have a couple of them, but you can never have too many, I believe. I think this is a really nice one right here. Good for any size candle, but especially I think for your tapered ones. And in this, oh, here's the, is this the tea? Crimson Berry Organic Herbal Tea. My glasses on again. And the contents, strawberry leaf, blackberry leaf, hibiscus, flower, rose hips, juniper berry, elderberries, cranberries, currants, ru ruibos, acerella power, and natural fruit flavors. And I think I'm missing something. I can make sure I get everything out. And there's this box here. And a coin. And it says love. And it's very nicely packaged in, in um, lies on top of this moss. And love, and it appears to have the goddess, triple moon goddess here. I don't know if you can see it. And, oops, and it says love on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the contents and see what this is about specifically. As we move into the last full month of summer, for those who live in the Northern Hemisphere, our thoughts turn to cooler days and the magic of the fall. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss summer. Next month brings the autumn equinox and the beginning of shadow season. The daylight becomes shorter and the night becomes longer. Nyx is the Greek goddess or personification of the night. She is said to bring a cloak of darkness to the earth by spreading her black veil, creating the night sky and gifting us with a time of, of rest, beauty, and magic. She rides her chariot, sprinkling stars in her wake. Her appearances are, her appearances are sparse in the surviving mythology, but reveal her as a figure with exceptional beauty and power. Zeus himself was said to fear her. Oh, that's great. 
I like her already. She's probably one of the oldest beings in Greek mythology before 500 BCE, predating the Titans and Olympians, and is said to be birthed from the original primordial chaos. Nyx is said to have prophetic powers and gave oracles from a cave. Being the goddess of the night, she is also psychic and is a bringer of truth. When she takes the name Euphrone, she is the mother of good advice. It is said that Nyx passes her daughter, Himera, who rules the day, twice a day at twilight and dawn. They can only wave at each other from their chariots as they pass through the gates of Tartarus as one is leaving, the other is returning home. The energy of Nyx can be summoned in relation to the moon magic, magic relating to air, sleep, and working with entity spirits on the other side of the veil. She's associated with bats, owls, and cats. And in this, you can see the shadow of a, of a cat here. Love it. And there is an invocation here. I won't read it, but it's here. And, and it says, further, of course, everyone has a different opinion about ancient mythology and the best way to perform spells and rituals that works for them personally. The items in this month box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. Okay. Uh, starts off with the cleansing ritual bath. You guys know this. Um, clear your energy and create a sacred space. And light a twilight shade incense stick. I wonder what's in it though. This incense blend aids in purification, promoting peace and restful sleep. And th these are the casting salts here. Cast a circle around you clockwise, visualizing a perfective, protective blue-white light rising up from the ground. And let's see, there's more. These salts offer protective properties and can clear the energy around your altar. Place salts in a dish to absorb negative energy or sprinkle around your sacred space. They can also be used in ritual baths to absorb unwanted, unwanted energy. And it says here, state your intention. It's important to be clear about the purposes of your actions. The ritual oil is next. Shake gently before using. Anoint your pulse points and third eye. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself or your magical components. And it says that vitamin E was added to this. And you can anoint candles, spells, items, and altar tools. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. Okay, sorry, this is really bugging me. Dry heart hydrangea root here. Carry it with you in the bag for unhexing, scatter it around the home or burn. It also stands for devotion and understanding. It is said to promote protection, to redirecting curses and to rebuild the energy field. Do not consume. Dried sage. Yeah, I thought that was sage. It look, looks like a G for some reason to me. And sage is used to promote wisdom and bring in good luck and to build emotional strength. It is used in magical workings for longevity, protection, and granting of wishes. And the, here's the Nyx candle here that we saw. You would take this off, of course. And it talks about candle magic, form a sympathetic magic. Hand roll to set the intentions of opening your third eye so your truth can be shown to you. And to open communications with your spirit guides. Candles in general draw the element of fire into your spells and rituals. Okay. Goddess spell coin. I believe is 
this coin here that said love on it. Each coin has a unique message chosen for you. Oh, you guys will get your own. So you may not get one that says love. It may have something else on it. And let's see. It carries a blessing and a wish for you in the upcoming month. It also serves as a touch piece, which is a coin or metal to bring good luck or to carry out a specific action. The intent is said to be imbued in the coin, which effectively becomes an amulet. Good luck coins date back to ancient Rome. Place it in a spell bag or carry it with you. Here it comes. You can also remove the moss from the box and sprinkle some of the flower offering inside and place the coin on top. Leave a flower offering. That's what this is here in the organza bag. This potpourri is a blend of dried tulips, cornflowers, lavender, and angel wing pods. Place an offering, place the offering in a bowl on your altar or sprinkle it around the candle to boost the candle's magical properties. Hi, Freddie. And the tumbled hematite, or hematite as some people would say. Hey, Freddie. Hey there. Hi. I knew it wouldn't be long. It wouldn't be long. Okay. Hematite. Try to pet you and read this at the same time. This stone is used for grounding, protection, and stability. It is said to promote a sense of safety and security and brings balance to body, mind, and spirit. It is said to promote mental clarity during troubling times. Hold the hematite in your hands after spell and ceremony work to help ground you. It is believed that it reflects back any negativity from whence it came. Egyptians use this stone in many ways from protective amulets to aid in healing. Engraved seals made of hematite have been found in the ancient ruins of Babylon. And the brass candle snuffer. Oh, it's made out of brass. That's really nice. Freddy. <laughs> the perfect tool to snuff out a candle flame. Some believe that blowing out a candle is disrespectful to the element of fire. Complete the ritual. Open up and pull up the circle that was cast and ground yourself by releasing any excess energy or residual emotions by letting it soak into the earth. And this is where the tea comes. Freddy. <laughs> Here's the tea here. And the digital art print by Christy here. Freddy. <laughs> You're so weird. Right here. And then the oracle card. For more, for more info about the deck, your card was drawn from search vintage Wisdom Oracle. Pretty stop it. By Victoria Mosley on sugarmuses.com. Okay. So I'll go through this once again. I really like this box. And again, this is not Sugar Muses Deluxe Box Light. It's actually shadow work. Um, it's a little bit more gothic in nature and I like both so I buy both pretty nice so, feels so weird when you put your nose cold nose so this is what you get this beautiful print digital print you get the oil pretty come on you're so nosy you get the sage here Sorry, you guys. Oh, ready. <laughs> the sage. The casting salts. Hydrangea. Where did it go? Right here. Hydrangea root. This amazing smelling incense. It smells to me like jasmine. 
Um, if anyone can find the ingredients or what these incense sticks are made, made of, please share. I don't see it on here. It may be on here, I may be missing it, but it smells amazing. And I'm sorry I'm not smiling as much as I usually do, because when I do, it just, I have this bracket here in the very back that's so close to like, you know that pocket between your cheek and your, um, your gums, and it's just rubbing up against it. And it, I put wax there, but I mean, nothing really takes the pain away. So I'm just trying not to irritate it. So you get this incense, you get this, I got, I think it's pretty large hematite here. You get the candle, the hand rolled candle, beeswax candle, the candle snuffer here, The tea, uh, your own coin, which will have the messages on it for you. I got, mine says love. And the flower offering, very attractive, wrap, very attractively wrapped here. And your own oracle card from this deck. So um, I'm very pleased and I just, I like the different pantheons, the goddesses that are represented, gods and goddesses in these boxes, especially the Midnight Muses. I tend to like the shadow work more than the, um, the light work. That's just me though. So anyways, very enjoyable unboxing. I hope you're all doing well. Um, end of summer. And um, I do welcome the fall. I do like the fall. But um, I feel always feel kind of sad that summer is leaving us because I just like staying outside at night. And it helps when it's warmer. Right, Freddie? Aww. All right, you guys. I will see you at the next unboxing, which will be in September. The Witch's Moon usually mails out their boxes after the third. So soon after the third, I will get to that box usually first. So hope you're all doing well. Again, like and subscribe and comment below. And Freddie and I will see you next month. Bye.